Welcome guys, this is Joe from JS Blade Craft. So continuing with Blade Show East 2023 is Rosecraft Blades, which in my opinion have some of the most stylistic, excellent, everyday use knives out there. But their new lineup is very exciting. They're coming out with some really nice, harder use types and type of knives that I'm actually a really big fan of and can't wait to get my hands on. So... Let me introduce you to Rosecraft Blades at Blade Show. Okay, and uh, yeah, great to see you here, great spread. Love to see, like to see a lot of your new knives, you want to talk about them? Absolutely, we've had a great show so far, but I do want to show you some of the new stuff. It's way better looking than my face, so let's jump down here and look at some of this stuff. I'm going to start you off by showing you the, uh, the Terracona, we can do that. This word is Dragon and Maori. We're doing nested liners this time, so you will not be able to see the liners inside of this liner lock. And if you look right there, you can see that. You got your hidden lanyard hole, like we did. This knife is slim and sleek and looks really good. Modified clip point on that. Action as always, guys. G10 handles, RPM9, black PVD. Uh, the action on these is always, always good. I'm going to show it right up here where he can get it. Perfect on the flipper and perfect on the thumb stud. Ceramic ball bearings does that for us. Ceramic ball bearings. Right. So this knife is, um, I think it's a $65 knife, if I'm not mistaken. They'll all go up on the website over time. But I love this little guy. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite in the mix. The next, I, I'm going to say, if this is sleek and sexy, let's talk about, I'm going to actually use the tan one so you can see. But this is the MA-11. It's our first foray into a military or uh, law enforcement style knife. It has a PVD coated frame lock on this blade. It is a PVD coated Tanto with a desert tan G10 piece on the other side. Flipper, frame lock, thumb stud, and unlike any knife we've done so far, it is a tip up, tip down, ambidextrous carry. So you can do that on either side. Move that pocket clip wherever you want. So you can put it on a service vest, any of that. And a nice big lanyard hole for you. Close down. This bad boy looks like that. I like that. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited yes. about this one. I love, we were talking to a guy who was a police officer yesterday, and he said, I'd like this because it'll go on my service uh, vest, mm -hmm. in the uh, molly webbing on his vest, and it's thin enough and strong enough that he won't have a problem with it. You flip it, it moves fast. There's what that knife looks like. Also has that gorgeous little skull and crossbones yes, yes, there. Yes, there you go. It's a symbol. <laughs> You're going to see quite a the, bunch of these from this. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget, you can get the hat, guys. <laughs> this is the Tarcanus. That is two Latin words put together. Bull and dog. And I just felt like this was a bulldog. This is the one I'm going to tell Joe just to try to beat the hell out of for sure. <laughs> and I know he'll do it for me. You're talking about another design that has nested liners. That means they're nested up in the G10. It saves on weight, looks a little prettier. This one has a hinder, hidden lanyard post. It again is ambidextrous tip up pocket clip. Nice amount of jimping here. And I call it a bulldog because on this particular knife, I'm gonna actually flip it for you. When you get that in your palm, you know how that pocket monster did that, right? And you felt it. This has a bigger handle, but it's still that same idea. Get the finger protected here, get your whole fist around that, and you can make any cut you want to make that way. Like the pocket monster, it is a front flipper and a thumb stud knife. So if you sit here like this, you, I didn't do it. I blew it, Joe. Editing, bro. There we go. Just like that. You know, Swags would be laughing at me if I did that. <laughs> the thumb stud works great. Ceramic ball bearings on that knife again. And you're talking about Tarcanus $73.99 on that knife at retail. Again, coming to the website soon. Now, I want to show you one that's not mine, and that, but I'm still super, super proud of. Hawkins Rose came out of the gate charging with the Aris Rex this time. That's Air King, also like Dragon. Have you ever seen a harpoon tanto before in your life? No. Not a, not I have harpoon. never ever seen a harpoon tanto. Marbled, marbled carbon fiber, actual copper bolsters, black PVD over AR RPM 9. And just look how pretty that knife is all the way around. Liner lock on this thing. The action, again, is that Rosecraft action you're used to. Just boom. It'll go, thumb stud should 
just go. I'm sorry, feel it right here. I'll get it for you. Thumb stud, boom. Always great action on this. We have sold a bunch. This is going to end up being the most expensive knife we've done so far. Marbled, marbled carbon fiber will be at 106.95. Then we have the Micarta version of that same knife. I think it's 86.99. Yeah, so obviously you're paying extra for like... For the marble carbon fiber. The, 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 the yeah, scale, so kind yeah. of stuff. Um, one that I couldn't get scabbed to let go of the other day, or you yesterday when you came in, is the Yoka. That's J-O-K-A pronounced Yoka. That means serpent. And it is a monolithic knife that you can barely see the blade at all while it's closed. You could drop this in a shirt pocket or a jacket pocket. You wouldn't know it's there. It is only a flipper, but the action is superb. What did I call it? I don't remember. Skink on, uh, oh, steroids. skink on steroids. Skink on yeah. steroids. Yeah. Yes. Another lot. It's everything that what I like about the skink, but it's just a bigger. It's, it looks like a bigger. And uh, and it's a it's a monolith. It's straight. Yes. It is, it is completely yes. straight. Yes. Um, I'll be dead honest. I was inspired by Lucas Burnley, who I love his knives, to do this this knife design on the Nyoka. It's just a pretty pretty knife. Uh, I want to say this one's in the sixty nine dollar range. I can't remember exactly. What else do we have here? Um, Kefara, which is Rhino. This is the only non-RPM9 modern that I have on the table. This is a D2 Tanto blade. You're talking about nested uh, liners again on Macarta handles. <coughs> this little guy too has the big wide uh, lanyard hole. Ambidextrous tip up pocket clip. Look how deep that carry is gonna be in your pocket. You're barely going to show any knife at all on that carry. Liner lock, of course. And again, this knife has that tip up, tip down, tip up, tip down, ambidextrous carry. You can mount this knife however you like to carry a knife. It will be just fine. And again, action-wise, boom. Boom. Thumb stud, boom. All good. This is just a fun little knife. Here we go like that. Um, and that is most of the line. We have a way of it still. Are these available right now on your site? Okay, here's what's going to happen, guys. I don't want to drop all of these all at once. And literally, I got, what do you see on the table? Two days before the show, we were sweating it. I've got more stock coming in. Uh, I only got 20% of the moderns. And what I'm going to do is probably drop them two a month over the next several months. So it might be the MA11 and the Aris, Aris Rex some point in the next month. It might be the Kafara and the Weya. It might be the Tarkanis and the Terracona. Okay. He's filming a video. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we won't drop them all at once, but they'll come and I'm going to send our ambassadors like Joe home with a bunch of them and he's going to show them to you first. That's for sure. Yeah. And then we'll let you know, obviously, guys, when they drop and when yep. they're available and all that fun stuff. But yep. I'm loving, loving all of these new renditions. And we do have some new traditionals, but I won't make you go down there. Go and see those on the site. They're actually posted right now for you to sign up for. Yeah, actually, I'm going to get some people on that. The, um, the one thing that I would say, guys, use Joe's code. It gives you 10% off. It's going to be due to that. And the other thing to look for, we finally got this worked out with the post office, is if you don't need your knife like tomorrow night, use the first class option that's on the site. You're going to save like two to three bucks on shipping because we're passing those savings on to you. When we do shipping, I basically have a system that goes out and says, what is the post office just going to charge us? That's what we charge you. We box up your stuff and we send it off. The first class option instead of priority mail will save you some bucks. Is it available for everything? No. But check as you check out. And guys, don't forget about their traditional lineup. Their traditional knives are really some handsome looking, well built, really, really nice knives that you could use for your everyday carry. They're tough, they're sleek, they're built well, they have good stop, good motion on them. I like them a lot. And let's not forget, this year imported knife of the year at Blade Show is their Clinch River Swayback. They were awarded that actually after the airing of this show. Congrats on that, guys. Thank you, Andy. And uh, looking forward to the new products. Great stuff. Enjoy the rest of the show. And uh, having a good time here, man. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Yeah. I always appreciate you. Yeah. Good luck to your channel. Thank you.